Brand new baby goat here. Pretty cute. You saw the baby goat, so I'm gonna go do some uh, voiceovers here. This is the left side, of course. I wanted to kind of get it before it hopefully is covered in coral. This is the center, got the uh, overhang thing here fixed, knock on wood, so it's not gonna fall down. And the right side, right side is gonna be more SPS, uh, LPS on the left. So of course it's time to buy some coral, go broke, dip everything, uh, bought a crap ton of stuff, just try it out and see what works, what doesn't work, what grows well, just to kind of play around and see what happens. All right, orange filter on, first coral in, WWC OG bounces, of course. And then some bubblegum digitata. See how it does. All right, guys, let's see where we're at with No Shave November, right? But besides that, check it out. So, excuse the mess, it's still a little messy up here, but I went ahead and added the sixth uh, I had four, so six of these Noopsite K7 uh, Pro V2s. So I had four on here before, and now I have two each section for a total of six, of course. I, I have some of them like a little spread more apart and close together and a little bit down lower, like you can see on that one, just because the rock work kind of slopes down there. Um, so I try to mess with that. I can always adjust it if needed or whatever. And these two in the middle uh, kind of wider because that rock should just be getting you know, hammered straight up from that one, as well as some coming from over there. So that's the uh, lighting. I have them all set up on uh, SPS program, the little thing I found online and toned down now because we are getting a little bit of uh, diatoms on the sand, nothing, you know, crazy or whatever. This is the worst section over here. Um, but in the whole scheme of things, not bad. Of course, there is algae uh, coming on these new rocks, which I expected. I have one snail in here. So I just put him in here last night. Uh, I totally forgot about uh, getting a cleanup crew, so I moved them all down to the basement, which is going to be impossible to kind of try to get everything back out of the frag tank. So I was just able to grab one snail for now, and then on the way back from Thanksgiving, hopefully somebody's going to have some good Black Friday sales or something going on. Uh, I also put two of uh, my fish back in here. I got the uh, Flame Angel. That's his cave. Apparently he stole it from the uh, Royal Grandma, or however you say it. I don't know where that guy is usually is kind of under one of these there he is so he's under that one so at least they each have a cave I took out my purple tang which probably would help out a little bit with this algae so I might bring them up as well they're supposed to be pretty aggressive my guy's pretty chill so uh, we shall see how it turns out but overall looking good I might bring up some coral uh, today just a couple pieces see how it goes but looking good all right got the orange filter on little reflection over here but Walk you through everything here. This is the pretty much final rock work, I believe. Added in the little thing in back right there to kind of give this front two things a 3D effect, which you probably can't see too much on camera, but it turned out pretty decent. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep this little rock here or that rock back there. Either way, they're from my fuse, so I'm gonna leave them there for a little while just to get you know stuff into play like my little thing here. My idea first off the top of my head is like to cover it with like Zoe's and Pally's, like a long arm kind of might look kind of cool, but of course SPS maybe as well. Um, and then of course it looks like a little dragon head, like a Viking dragon head or something right there. It's kind of came out pretty cool and lots of empty sand uh, area over there. So I think if I remove that, it'll open up this area over to the right and make it look like a more separate area because it kind of almost looks like one long structure if you just glance at it or, or poor camera here. And I think, you know, if, if I remove that, I think it'll open up a little bit more and be more clear along with that maybe a little rock. But I'll wait on that just to get any bacteria and little organisms and stuff like that in here. So we'll see about that. Uh, next up is what I did with the lights. Back to voicing over here. So I just wanted to show uh, I have two little triangles of no light is about the only thing uh, that I have to complain about with the Noob Sykes. But I mean, overall, it's just like maybe a two inch triangle underneath each overhang thing. So I don't think it'll affect any coral, but wanted to put a kind of picture to show what it looks like from farther away. So now we finally get to after Thanksgiving and Black Friday, which of course required me to make more purchases, uh, <clears throat> investments, right? That's what I tell the wife. Uh, all kinds of different things. Again, spent a crap ton because uh, everything was looking pretty all good. Right guys, quick update today is the 26th. No shave November, right? Check it out. All right. Got some coral in here. I'll walk you through it a little bit. 
Put the GSP over here to keep it, of course, away from everything. Added a couple snails, gotta buy some more. Got some BGM, a little conch there. Got the uh, bubblegum monster up top. Bubblegum digi, <laughs> bubblegum monster right there, right? Um, the, was it Mystic, Mystic Money, I think it is, all right? Uh, pretty awesome looking hammer, two head hammer right there. Got some sun-kissed uh, mushrooms that I brought from the basement. Got an awesome Black Friday A can. You can't really tell, but uh, pretty darn cool looking here. Black Friday sale, 10 bucks. So I'm pretty happy with that. Three, four, five, you know, something like that. Heads. Awesome green Indo torch. Uh, Starboard, Starburst Monty in there now. Got, I uh, put some, you know, obviously my fish back in there. So I got the Royal Grama. They got the Flame Angel there. We got the Purple Tang back in, eating some of the algae, which is awesome. We got a Carpenter Ass somewhere in the, whoa, what happened? All right, camera went crazy. I'm not sure what happened, but Carpenter Ass somewhere in there. We got, of course, the WWC OGs right there still. Put another piece of GSP over there, another piece of GSP over here, trying to keep it out of the way. Got my anemone in here, looking nice. Got some frog spawn, looking awesome. Some sweet, it doesn't show up on the video, but a nice gold peach hammer. Looks uh, very cool, one of my favorite ones in the tank here. I figured I'd do something pretty cool with my little uh, finger hand looking thing here. So I'm putting Zoas on each little piece of it. Pretty cool. So I got, I think, Fruit Loops on the front here. I got the uh, Magicians or White Zombies there. I got uh, VW Bloodshots in the back. And then this hasn't opened yet. So honestly, I can't remember what it is uh, yet. Uh, but <laughs> we'll have an update. A couple more snails. And then we got this A can, which is another $10 A can which super excited about. All the other ones are crap, but man, these two, I just lucked out. Got there late and everything. Really super cool A can right here. So everything's looking pretty good. And then one more little fish. We got the orange, I think orange spot goby, all right? I don't know, he's kind of boring though. And he keeps kicking up all the sand over there to make it go in a tornado and then gets all over my rocks, but pretty cool. All right, a couple more uh, little coral pitchers. One of my favorite acans here. Got it for 10 bucks. Black Friday special. Insane deal there. Uh, I've had the anemone for a while. A couple other coral pitchers, but I figured out what was wrong with the camera when I had the stupid orange clip on there. When I zoomed out all the way, I would mess it up. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the flow and the tank and everything, and uh, stay tuned for more.